Hi folks, Ray here again in the third in my series of how I'm starting up my eBay selling business. Um, it's been another busy week. I've did a lot of sales and I've bought some stuff. Uh, but I'm still in the initial phase of trying to set up the actual business and, st and stuff. Um, a week last Thursday I signed off from uh, from the job centre. I was on Job Seekers Allowance. So I told the, the, the lady that my, my my ideas and everything, and she um, she says, well, there's a there's a new uh, business in it, initiative that uh, she would refer me to. So I went to see the guy on the Tuesday, and it is run through Business Gateway. It's uh, they give you business advice and stuff. This is the one from a local town. Uh, so I went to see the guy, told him my ideas and that, and uh, he says uh, he was he says that he was wanted to try it himself. Um, so I filled in all the forms, and he sent them back to the job centre, and uh, they had to f uh, they say uh, give me a phone call on the Thursday, so I went and signed off from the job centre, yes, and uh, now I'm on this thing called New Enterprise Allowance, which you can see on the screen here, and what it what it entails is, like I say, is no the yeah the job centre referred me to. To the business gateway centre, and uh, here's the the things that you have to be eligible. You have to be on job seeker allowance or income support as a loan parent, or employment and support allowance. And what you get with that is you get a financial help. You know, it says here for 26 weeks I get an allowance, and she worked out that it'd be something like um, a bit like 65 pound a week for the first half of those for 13 weeks I think I get 65 pound and then it goes down to half that for the for the remainder of the weeks um but I mean that's what I was getting virtually on job seekers allowance so I'm not losing you know and so I signed the forms and like I say I went at the job center on the Thursday and um that's me, I'm just uh, ready. The next step is to, she says, I register as a sole trader. But before that, the, she recommended, like, down at the step, the business shop, the workshop, uh, they've got a, a timetable of different things, you know, like startup awareness, business planning, marketing, ICT, finance, and HM, revenue, and customers. Well, the guy says that all of this I've actually done, you know, it's, up, it's virtually up and running and things. The only one that I'll get any benefit of is the HM revenue and customers, which I'm going to on to on the 25th of November. So I'm going to ask them when I'm there, you know, all about uh, the tax thing. The, it's all on the, the .gov UK website here anyway, but I want to get some advice because I've actually got another job that I'm doing which is the job coaching, I think I maybe mentioned it in my last uh, video and I want to see how that works because I'll I'll play in, as a sole trader I think you pay class 2 national insurance and if I'm getting employed by another employer I'll be, you know, it's like I'm actually like an agent uh, I have to pay, it's either class 1 or it could be class, two, uh, class 3 or 4 so I'm going to, to clarify that up as well and I just, I, in my last video, the, uh, there was a guy who left a, a comment, and uh, sorry, I, c I can't remember your name offhand, but he says that I can actually um, apply for working tax credit as well. So, uh, for anyone that's un unemployed or whatever, and they're looking at this, you know, get the, get the, the new allowance scheme. And you're also, if you, you might be eligible, eligible, if I can say it right, for working tax credit. Now, I've tried to phone them from, from Thursday. Uh, I was on the phone about 20 minutes waiting on the Thursday, same on the Friday. Uh, and I did it on the, on the Saturday as well, but I, uh, they weren't answering or it was maybe something up. But I spent a lot of time wait, hanging on the phone for them. So first thing Monday morning, I'm going to phone them at 8 o'clock in the morning. So um, uh, hopefully I'll get a wee bit of money from them, and uh, that's about it. You know, the, um, for anybody that's wanting to start up, being an eBay reseller or an Amazon seller, it looks that simple. You know, that's me. I didn't think it'd be as simple as that, but I'm on my 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 path now. You know, I'm just waiting for um, for this meeting now. See what they they. they 
the guy says about uh, tax and national insurance and stuff. Um, class two, I'll probably play about fifty, one hundred and fifty pound a year, I think it is, or a couple of pound a week. So um, I'll get that sorted out. But uh, everything's good, and uh, here's to the next step. So, so these videos, uh, I'm I'm Ray. I'm on Ray. What's the name of my website? <laughs> my eBay shop. Let's go back here. I have renamed it as well. I've renamed it Ray DVD Bargains. So, if you're looking for film bargains, uh, go to the, the eBay site there. And I just want to make these videos for anybody that's that's interested in starting up the as as being a sole trader, and uh, they can refer to these videos, you know, because um, I just have to say a big thanks to Nick Hill. You no, know, he's a uh, he's. He made me aware of all this, you know, he's putting up some fantastic videos and stuff and a couple of other guys. So what I'm going to do is, in a future video, I'll, I'll do a wee shout out to all the, the guys from the UK and stuff. Um, so look, look out for the next video as well. Thanks for watching.